Good morning, La Plumas students, and welcome to the first art video of the new school year. Today we are going to be drawing this pattern, which is a close-up view of a monarch butterfly's wing. And because it's a close-up and not an actual representation of the entire butterfly, we call this abstract art. Abstract means not an attempt to represent reality. It's more just like patterns, shapes, kind of ideas, and sometimes it can even be hard to tell exactly what it is. You might remember that last year we did drawings of caterpillars, and those caterpillars went into a chrysalis and then turned into monarch butterflies. And so I would like you to watch this video and look at these photographs of those monarch butterflies. All right, let's get started on our abstract monarch butterfly wing. You're gonna need a piece of paper and a black colored pencil or crayon or marker. And you're going to need two different shades of orange. I have a dark and a light here. And then you'll also need a shade of blue. And the blue does not need to have paper on it because we're gonna be using the side. All right, so we are going to start with this over curve and it's going to start high on the left side and curve down to the right side of the paper so you can see there's less space up here on the left and more space here on the right and there's this curve going down and now we're going to come down and do this sort of backwards j shape so that's going to start about halfway up your paper and we're going to curve backwards into a U or a J shape there. Then we want to curve out and then we're going to curve back. So this is the basic shape of our butterfly wing. Um, the monarch butterfly has these beautiful orange spots. So we're going to just draw the outline of those spots with our black crayon or pencil or marker. Um, probably a marker is not great for sketching this out just in case you make a mistake. So this is our first shape. It is, um, the curve kind of follows this top curve, but then it curves down. And then this curve also follows these lines, but it curves up and makes a point. For these three shapes, they're almost like ovals, but kind of have some straight sides on them. So we are going to start with this straight side of this one, and the straight top side of this one, and then the straight kind of downward curve of this one. So here's our three shapes, and this is the top of those three shapes. This one we're gonna continue, I'm gonna make it a little bit longer, and then we're gonna continue down, down, down at an angle, and then swoop back, and then back up to the edge. You can see this one's a little bit pointier than this one, and that's totally fine because butterflies have different markings. Every butterfly is a little bit different, so it's okay if your shapes are not exactly like my shapes. For this second one, I'm going to follow this first line that I did and go down, down, and then round and back up. And now we're ready for this last little orange shape, which is kind of a teardrop shape. 
So I am going to continue this curve down, 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 curve back, and up, up, up. And there are my three. Those will, put, will be eventually be different shades of orange. Okay, we've got two little orange markings right here on the edge. And again, they're kind of like they're not circles, they're not rectangles. They're kind of mix, a mix of the two. So we're gonna do, almost looks like a candy corn that you would eat for Halloween. So it's got a wider top and a narrower bottom. And then we'll just connect those sides. And then this marking is gonna go a little bit off the page. So I'm gonna do a straight line and curve off. And I'm gonna do kind of a little bit of a jaggedy wavy line and then curve off. All right, the last part that we have to draw for our butterfly wing are all of these adorable little white dots that fleck all the way through the black part of the butterfly wing. And again, really cool shapes that you see in nature. They're not perfect circles. They're not perfect rectangles. They are, each one is just like its own little mix. So we're gonna do some long sort of rectangular circles up here. And again, if your shapes aren't exactly like mine, it's totally okay because each monarch butterfly is a little bit different. So I'm just doing kind of a rectangles, but with a little bit of a curved edge. And I'm gonna go all the way down. This one went off the page, but this one I'm gonna have a little bit on the page and that's fine. Let's do this guy. Kind of has a curved top and a flatter bottom right there. And this one has a little bit of a point at the top and then it's rounded. This one's a little bit more like an oval. And this one's a little, maybe a little bit stretched out like a rectangle, but not a perfect rectangle. All right, I'm loving that. I'm loving the way the shapes are looking. And now we just have a bunch of these little tiny flecks of white to add down here in the black border. And so I am just going to draw each one. I'm just gonna kind of look at each one. And then I'm not gonna worry about making it perfect. I'm just going to try to get the approximate shape. And I might not even do the exact same amount. I might do extras. Um, I might skip something, but I'm just gonna basically kind of follow what I did here on the sample. And I like, I don't want them to be perfect circles. I want them to be kind of more organic shapes. Organic means more like what you would see in nature, not perfect. Okay, I'm really happy with that. It looks great. All right, on the butterfly wing, the colors are not perfectly separated. There's a lot of blending. And so the black kind of blends into the orange, which kind of blends into a lighter orange. So as I'm coloring, I'm going to be doing some overlapping with my colors. And you'll see that as I get started. If we were in class, we would probably be using watercolor, which is much easier to blend or I also love oil pastels for blending. If you happen to have either of those things at your house, you can use those. But um, I think most of us have crayons and pencils, so that's what we're using for the project. So basically the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go back over these um, shapes that I drew, and I'm gonna make them less perfect. I'm gonna kind of scribble a little bit because butterfly wings do not have, their shapes um, do not have perfect edges. They're more feathery, not perfect. So I'm gonna go back over each one of these and kind of, not too messy, but just a little bit of scribble over each edge. So it looks a little more 
nature-y, organic. I'm scribbling over each of these to make the edges a little rougher. All right, I've kind of done that scribbling motion over all of my black lines, and I'm ready to move on to the next step. I'm gonna take a break from my black, and I'm going to go to my darker orange, and I'm going to do a very dark border all the way inside and around the edge inside of these black spots. So I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start darker, pressing harder, and then I'm gonna kind of lighten up as I get more inside the shape so that I can blend it with a lighter color. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Start out pressing hard. Go all the way around the inside. It's okay if it overlaps with the black. We want that overlap. And then as I move closer into the middle of my shape, I'm lightening up my pressure. And I'm going to do all of my orange spots exactly like this. Okay, that looks great. And now I'm gonna to switch to a lighter orange and I'm gonna kind of fill in the centers of my orange shapes. And it's, again, it's okay to overlap with that darker orange because we want that blending. We want it to look subtle or like not totally stark or distinct. We want it to look more like it's just naturally going from a darker color to a lighter color. Okay, I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. I love how feathery it looks and how blended. And I'm gonna even just go back over a little bit more, darken in some of these. And then I'm gonna switch back to my darker orange and just kind of go over a little bit more. I just wanna make sure it's really nicely blended. I don't want it to look like you can see exactly where the dark orange is and exactly where the lighter orange is. I want it to look more subtle. Okay, that's beautiful. All right, my next step is to fill in all of these black areas between the orange shapes and the white shapes. The white shapes we are just going to leave white. We're not gonna do anything with those. Um, so I am going to go ahead and just color in all this black background. Okay, I am almost done coloring in my black background on my monarch wing and as I was working on this I decided I think I want to go back over my orange dots orange shapes and I want to add some yellow into it just want to add a third shade just to add interest or make it look more realistic so I got out my yellow crayon and I'm just going to go back and right over the top I'm going to color some yellow and it's very subtle like you almost can't tell the difference but I think you can tell the difference enough to make it worth doing. Get that third color on there. I am so happy with the way this butterfly wing turned out. I think it's so gorgeous. I love the shapes and colors that you find in nature. They're so amazing. And it's very interesting with a caterpillar to a monarch butterfly because the caterpillar doesn't have any orange in it. 
So somehow in that transformation from caterpillar to butterfly, it develops this orange color, which I think is just so interesting. Okay, we are done with our butterfly wing and we are going to just use, actually you can use any color you'd like to just shade in the background. I'm gonna use blue because kind of reminds me of the sky. And again, I'm using my crayon on the side it goes a lot faster for coloring in large areas. And I like the texture it gives. It's not like a hard line. It's more just like a smooth, soft, feathery line. All right. And there is our abstract monarch butterfly wing. And I'm so excited, you guys, I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thank you. Bye-bye.